Hi guys, got a request here from Ryan Takanaka. He wants a rubber band powered car using a water bottle carrying an egg uphill. But there's no other specifications. So I don't know what sort of wheels I can use, how many rubber bands, how big the water bottle can be, what height the hill has to be, what the slope ratio needs to be. So I'm just going to please myself. This is the first water bottle that came to hand. It's quite a small one as you can see. To go up a slope we need small wheels with good grip. So I got these wheels out of a toy car. So I'm going to use them. I've got a slope I made for uh, another rubber band project for going uphill, so I can use that. That's in the garage at the moment. So I'll put this together. I'll probably melt a couple of holes in the back here for the axle to go through. It's just long enough. In fact, I'll probably put some plastic tubing through and glue it in place just to strengthen it a bit. Then just run a rubber band from the front to the back. Uh, obviously we need an axle at the front with wheels at the front. The front wheels don't really matter. Uh, I can probably use CDs for them. It's the grip and the gearing or the ratio at the back that's important. We need low gearing to go up the hill. So that's why I'm going for these little wheels. Because they're little wheels, we haven't got a lot of clearance. There's a ridge along there, so I'm using the ridge as a guide. I think I'll melt the holes through with a soldering iron. I've got this one where I've burnt out the tip, or worn out the tip, so that'll do for just melting a hole. Do.
to cut the bottom out so we can get the rubber band on there. Just pinch these off another rubber band powered car. Should be all right. Need to cut a hole in it for the egg as well. I'll do that in a minute. That's the basics. We've got the small wheels at the back for grip and for gear ratio. Big wheels at the front because it's convenient. We'll see whether that's okay or not. Got a hole at the front there to push the rubber band through so we can hold it in place at the front. And we'll have to wrap it round the back axle. Just wrap it around itself to hold it in place. And I'm just going to cut a hole in here to take an egg. Obviously this is a plastic one, I'm just using it to get the measurements. Right, let this warm up. It's raining outside.
ideally we want this to be a tight fit for the egg but I expect we can always wrap some rubber bands around the egg if it's too small I'm putting the egg right near the back so it gives us a bit of extra weight The, uh, not support, to hold the wheels on the ground. I might make that just a little bit bigger. That's, I want that to sit in there a little bit further than that. That should do. Time for a test run. We've got the ramp that I made for a previous project uh, a couple of years back I think. It's about three meters long and at the moment it's about half a meter raised at the far end. So what's that a one in six slope something like that. The car I've had to add some rubber bands to these wheels because even though they're fairly soft they don't give us enough grip and the axle I've soldered a screw onto the axle just to give us a hook to hold the rubber band while we wind it up so I'll wind it up then I'll put a nice fresh egg in it and we'll see how far up we go Remember there was no actual specification in the request as to what sort of slope it had to go up 
or what sort of uh, materials I could use. So we'll just see what we can do. Are we ready? Not bad. Nearly went all the way up. But as far as I'm concerned, that's a complete success because there's no specification as to what I need to achieve. So job done.